everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the Planetarium May Kit and I'm just showing you some of the stuff I might be using. I have the Hero Arts Tide Pool and the Stampin' Up Coastal Cabana. I took out a couple of stamp set and I will be using the KI Memories. I took out the Basic Grey Letters and the Heidi Swap which I don't end up using at all. I end up, I end up going a totally different direction. And I'm just showing you some of the stuff that was in this month's kit. And I got this new uh, washi tape that I was one of my hauls, but I don't end up using it. But I do use this mini confetti mask, and I love it. And I'm going to use this, the pure paper and the simple stories I'm going to use it on the grid side as my journaling paper and the pure paper I'm going to stamp on it and I'm going to use this paper here that says love you to the stars and back I'm going to end up using one of those photos I believe this is the second sheet that I'm using of this and it is the dear Lizzie lucky charm paper And I'm going to use that blue background and I don't end up using that Allison Craft paper. I took it out, but I don't end up using it. So now we're going to get started. Okay, so at this point I decide I'm just going to use the one photo and I'm going to use that mini confetti um, template that I just got in my haul and I absolutely love it. Um, the other heart template, the one that I have in my giveaway was my favorite and I used this template once and this is a brand new template that is out uh, just recently and um, it is awesome. It's just got little, little splatters and little hearts so it just looks like a little distress but it's got little hearts in it. And I happened to get the 6x6 and the 12x12. So I can't wait to use the 12x12 also. But I thought this time it would be nice to have it kind of the top left and the bottom right. And then I use that Love You to the Stars and Back paper. And I just cut it so that it was the same, almost the same width as the photo, but a little longer. And that's where I'm going to do my journaling. I'm going to cut a piece of that Simple Stories paper and cut it down to fit. Eventually, I'm going to cut down that blue strip because it really doesn't coordinate whatsoever. I could I cut a piece of that Dear Lizzie um, Lucky Charms paper, about a four inch strip of, of that stripe paper. I love that paper. It's so beautiful. And the first sheet, I only, I believe I only used the other side, the, or mostly the heart side. So I want to make sure that I, I use that side too. Now I pulled out, I just got a whole bunch of LE Studio stuff from Two Peas in a Bucket. So I pulled all the different die cuts out and it is from the Cameron collection. And I decided to use it on this page because it's, it's very boyish and it's bright and orange and his and blues. And the little outfit he's wearing is two shades of blues and orange so I thought that was perfect so and the background paper has blues and yellows and so it just everything coordinates so well so I I want to use that um, that's Ellie studio paper and at first I think I'm going to use a big strip of it and then I'm going to end up just cutting two little strips uh, I call them like paper ribbon so about three eighths of an inch wide so then it looks like ribbon and I'm going to put it at the top and the bottom of the, the pattern paper I'm going to cut that circle in half or almost in half and I'm going to put the top of it at the top of the layout and the other half at the bottom left and then I'm just kind of arranging everything. I'm not exactly sure how, how everything's going to work out. And this page was done after 
uh, a night shift so it seems to take me a little longer to put these together after a night shift the brain isn't working as fast after you know you've been up for 14 hours or so so this page took me two hours and 15 min 15 minutes and that was uh, two uh, two mornings after night shifts and it is layout 13 using the planetarium kit and I'll probably I go back this is Monday August 11th and I go back to work tomorrow August 13th so I'm hoping that I can get one page done every two days or something like that until my overtime is done and my overtime is not going to be done till the end of August so I only have a day here and there until till the end of August so hopefully I'll still be able to upload a little bit. Um, then I took out that KI memory stamp set and I stamped out three of that camera and three of um, the film strip. And I'm going to change the color on the film strip because it was just too much blue and I wanted a little bit more contrast. So I went and grabbed my orange soda from Pure Arts and I'm going to stamp it out three more times and I'll cut it out. And I really love that ink. Like when you first, I wish you could see it, when you first stamp it, it's very blotchy and not uniform or anything. And then you just leave it and, you know, 10, 15 minutes later, it's, it's like magic. It totally fills up and all the little gaps there was, there's no more gaps. It just, it's a smooth um, inking. So I really love that about that ink. And now I'm feeling good about the whole thing and I'm going to start gluing everything down, but I really don't want to move it because everything is exactly where I want it. So I'm just kind of lift the edges of the paper and stick some glue in behind and the same with the die cuts. I just kind of lifted the papers and squirted some glue in behind there. And I know I want to put put a cluster at the bottom right of the layout but I'm not really sure what I want to put there so I'm cutting out some flags and I'm taking out some circle smaller circle elements from the Ellie studio because at the two other clusters there's circles so I want another circle but that orange was just too much there was one of them that had little stars all over it so I thought that was perfect because that that tag at the top that says you are awesome had has um, stars on it so then I took that little tag and I'm going to put it at the bottom and I put their stars on that and that that little film strip that I'm gluing right now I'm going to end up stamping a star in that one so then it makes it so the three different clusters has stars and I have to tell you a lot of times it's not planned out like as I'm telling you I'm noticing that this happens so a lot of times you know, I scrapbook away and I'm not even realizing that I'm doing this. Like I knew I wanted three circles, but I didn't realize the whole star thing till right now. <laughs> so a lot of times I think it's just your eye gets accustomed to what it likes maybe and you just go with the flow. So I now know I want to work on my title and I'm looking for some letters that I could use. And I'm going to use the sketchbook uh, thickers. I'm going to use the Kelly Perky letters in the teal. And then I'm going to use the alphas that we got in this month's kit. And they are glitz. Because we got two different ones. We got one that was colorful and the other one, the other one is just brown and cream. And I'm going to use the colorful one and it's all going to be the orange and the title is going to be now I have no idea where I stepped off to I think I'm looking for the diff I'm not sure what letters at this point because I still have the Heidi swap letters out I still have the basic gray and I do have the Kelly perky letters so I think I'm off looking for some for some letters. My um, scrap room is in some serious need of 
clean up, like just reorganizing. And but I know that's going to take me a good week. So I want to wait till I have more days to kind of put together. So I'll have to wait a couple more weeks before I can get that done. I basically clean my desk and put everything where, you know, everything has a home, but I just want to reorganize. So now I'm looking for, I think I want to spell awaits with these letters and it doesn't, not all the letters are present or I don't have all the letters because I've used those a few times so I probably used um, all the letters that I wanted well I did find it maybe it was just too light and I decided against you know against it so I, maybe that's what it was and and then I find it's just gonna get lost on the page so then I'm looking through my basic gray and it was the basic gray that I didn't have everything so I'm going to put all those away and I'm going to end up putting the Heidi swaps. And that's what I find a lot of the times, a lot of time for me anyway, gets spent on the title. Like it takes me a long time to decide what I'm going to use for my title. And the whole time I'm scrapbooking, I'm thinking, you know, what can I use for my title? What can I use for my title? And as I was sitting there scrapbooking, I, I just looked at the picture and I, I thought to myself, he's just looking like, you know, the world awaits him. Like he just can't wait to start crawling and running. And <laughs> so that's where that title came from. So these are the glitz letters and I'm going to choose all the orange ones. And I'm going to spell the world awaits. And now I'm going to fuss with where I'm going to put it. And at first I think I'm going to kind of wrap it around the photo. But I don't like that. I think it would have looked good where it is right now. But I decide, I decide against it. And this is where I know that I want to stamp something in those film strips. So one of them I put rough and tough and the middle one I put a little star and then the other one I just put this and then an arrow and I thought maybe I could put a little wooden heart in the center of each lens but I decide against that and I'm going to do something else so when I don't know what I want to do I just kind of move on to something else that I do know what I want to do and go with that and while I'm doing the other thing I'm kind of thinking about you know what like here I was thinking about the title so where could I put this title can should I put it there should I put it on the bottom and then I decide to instead of just making sort of a loopy thing with my twine and stick it down I decided that I'm going to put it in the center of the cameras and then my battery's going to die and then you're going to see close up and I really slowed down the picture so that you could really see because um, the only thing I did after that was add the title and where I decide to put it was underneath the photo and you're going to see it here in a few minutes so if you want to see some still pictures or close-up pictures you can join me on my Facebook group we we upload all their pages there or you can go to two peas and studio calico and you can look for Nicole Jones 911 and I upload my still pictures there so like I said I uploaded a few still pictures and I kind of slowed it down so you could see all the clusters for a little longer than just kind of sweeping sweeping it and then in a minute you'll see the title down in the center of the page so that's the bottom right cluster so that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.